Hi everyone, in this video we will explain uh, an activity diagram for car rental system. We have these three objects, client, car rental system and car rental worker, those who are working in this system. And these are the clients. This is the start point, okay, this circle, black circle, this is the start point and this is the activity. First of all, a client request for a car. So then the car rental system, this shows the um, catalog of car models, okay, it means shows the cars to the uh, client. Then the client uh, choose a car. Whenever the client choose a car, so then the car rental system check the availability of that car. Is that car available or not? Or that is given for someone else to someone else. So after that, the, if the, that was available, so it is a condition. Okay. Whenever the, for the check availability, this is the condition. If that was available, it will come down. If that was not available, that will goes to the left side. Okay, to this left side. If that was unavailable so then it will come it is again a condition with us so here a chick is the the client want to wait for that car if you would like to wait so then you should come back to this activity check availability okay if he didn't want to wait so then he should move back to the choose a car activity he performed that again to choose another car uh, but if that was available if the uh, car was available, so then the uh, car rental system, they show the prices for that car. How much is the price per rent for how many days, month, and how much time. When the uh, client see the show price, then again we have a condition here. Is he agree with that price or not? If he was uh, disagree with that, so he goes back to the choose a car activity. If he was agree, then he confirm the request. Whenever he confirm the request, so he back come the uh, here the uh, client car rental worker okay then the activity come to the client uh, worker to the car rental system worker so when he confirms the clients the worker uh, check clients driver license okay the worker come and check the license of the uh, client that he has the license or not so here we have again the condition if he was valid it, me it means that if he had the um, lessons so then they deduct um, payment and deposit from client's ca credit card then they cut the money from his credit card so if the lessons was not available so the activity diagram will terminate it is the termination sign okay but when you were um, if the money were available in his credit card and he was agreed so in again we have a, um, a condition if the um, it means he had the lessons but uh, there were no money in his uh, credit card so that will be failed again that will be terminated if that was successful so then he can register the car as a rented okay the car rent system they register that car as a uh, rented okay it means that is given for the rent so when they register that so what the client the worker do the worker hand over the car to the client yeah it give the car and give that to the client and the client drive the car and return the car back so whenever he return the car, the worker check the car. Is the car is okay or not? Or is there any problem or he crashed or something else happened? So after checking the car, here we have the condition. If that was damaged, so then pay the damage from the deposit. Okay, they should cut money from the client again. Okay, register the car as not returned. So if that was uh, not, if that was okay, is intact. So intact it means that is not in the damaged. Okay, if that was not damaged, they will register that as not rented. It means that came okay. And after that, when the that is uh, registered as not rented, so return the rest of the deposit. So they will give the rest of the deposit back to the client. So the activity diagram will terminate. It is the termination sign for that. So it was all about activity diagram for car rental system. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.